Oh, good morning, print fam. Welcome back to the print life. Roll the credits. I'm uh, trying to get a particular film to print. And for some reason, it's not working. Okay, that's why. God damn. I got my films printing for today. So here's the situation. Same as yesterday, we're working on this, this fairly large order that we gotta print manually. But the problem is, is that we also have some other smaller jobs that are due today as well. See, when you get big things like this in a shop like ours, you can't handle it. It basically throws your entire production schedule off, which is what we're suffering with right now. We'll get it taken care of. We're just gonna jump into the middle of this. Uh, we're gonna have to print through the weekend. We already expect to do that. So we're throwing those smaller jobs on the press so that we can knock them out. They're just two single color jobs. There's not even that many of them. I think there's like 36 and 72. So we're gonna jump in, get those done, and then we'll jump back on this job. I'm gonna head on into my office, 10.06. Uh, do the same thing as yesterday. I'm gonna give myself that hour to build a, yet another page. Uh, today I'm working on the print colors and locations. This page is super important, especially on the redesign, because the first time around, I spent a bunch of time doing it, but then we didn't add all the functionality to it that I had originally planned on adding. In particular, with the way that the clients will upload their artwork and then they manually use a color picker and they, or, or hopefully the system will calculate what colors are in the image and then the clients will be able to add and remove colors from the graphic based on that ultimately it's going to be a system that forces the clients to pick their pop the proper colors which is what i'm hoping for how you doing man you sore or are you all right huh you sore no okay you don't get sore no more i did see i'm smoking drugs yeah. i was having technical difficulties over there yeah, there was other stuff going on oh, i hate this job dude I got a call, a client that were, they're due on the 12th, which is I think, um, is that a Monday or Sunday? Well, their shit's due on Monday, so technically we might be okay. All right, Jesse, while you're doing that, I'm gonna be in there doing my hour on the website. Uh, do you need anything from me? You good? Okay, I'll be in there working. I'll be out to help you once you start survival flight. I know I said I was gonna start the uh, page design earlier, but I'm starting it now, so let's do it. Uh, yep. Which one's the Nemesis stuff? The shirts? Uh, just this little box right here. Probably 30. Yep. So that's all we gotta do. There is an ink change out. We're going from white to black. Okay. And it says in the thing, so just make sure to... It says it in here? It says it in the, on the iPad. It'll get black and the white, black ones get white? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Uh, you got a job that's due today, this afternoon. Can't do it because we need the customer that we're printing for to answer their phone, and they're not answering their phone. Again, I don't want to come off as a complainer, but I'm going to be a complainer. Screen printing is a—it's an incredible job. It's an incredible hobby. And dude, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer. I'm venting right now, so don't take this literally. But screen printing is a terrible business. Here's the caveat to that. All service-based businesses are terrible businesses. They're terrible and wonderful at the same time. Anything where you're providing a service to a client is going to be a fucking pain in the ass. Most, most entrepreneurs dabble in services because they're the easiest to start and they get the fuck out of them as quick as they dabbled in them because they're such a pain in the ass. This is the reality of it. The benefits to being a service-based business is it's easy to get into them and their cost of entry is just really low. So it's, it's a great business to get started in but most people, most entrepreneurs find very early on that they want out of the service business quicker than they could get into the service business. Why? Because of shit like what we're dealing with today. Clients not calling you back. Clients having unrealistic expectations. Clients pitting you against each other trying to get your costs lower. Clients acting like they should be the priority when you have a million other clients that are also the priority. It's just a very difficult business to be in. But the flip side of that is it's, it's pretty fun. I enjoy it. At the end of the day, I like it. I live for the print. 
I don't live for the clients. I live for the print itself. And I think anybody who's in the printing industry, in the printing world, if you don't have the passion for that print, for or the drive to try to, to, to formulate the perfect print, then you probably won't make it. Because that's the only thing that can really that can really matter that keeps you going forward. Because if you're just in this thing for the business, this is one of the most frustrating businesses that I've ever had. I mean, shit. It's frustrating. Well, that was fun. I feel like I really ventilated well there. But there is actually some truth to all that crap that I just said. Uh, now I'm going to get back to the website. I say, so, It's really hard to give yourself an hour during business time, man. The fucking phones don't stop. They don't f***ing stop. Oh, man. All right. Back to design. 12.55 p.m. Hey, I'm slaving away on this thing. I think I've been in here for well over two hours now, so I have definitely exceeded my hourly limit, but the phones aren't ringing, and... Jesse's working on a different project, so he doesn't need my help yet. We're getting the other little jobs out of the way. Once he dives into the survival flight, I'll be back out there helping him. In the meantime, I'm making really good progress on the print colors and location screen. I'm adding some really nice features. I'm excited about it. Guess what, guys? Multicraft just made the delivery. Thanks, dude. Yeah, man, I haven't officially actually been introduced to you. What was your name again? Ed Barnes. Ed Barnes. Nice to meet you officially. You're here all the time, but... Um, so what was the live show that you guys were doing It's a again? KUSO. It's a, a USO show for the troops in, uh, you know, who were back in town. We were doing Prescott Valley at the Heights Church. Okay. But are you, are you, so you're going live on the internet, or it's actually a live event? It's a live event, and we're trying to put it on the internet. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I've been doing, too. Dude, it's a struggle. So, uh, thanks for my delivery, dude. Anytime, sir. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Later. 1.43 p.m. Uh, just wrapped up. Well, I haven't wrapped it up. I'm nowhere near done, but I've been working on that uh, print colors and locations page for 10, 11, 12, 1, almost three hours now. A little over the one, like I was talking about. It gets me in trouble. But that particular page is just going to take a lot more time and effort to get it the way I want or the way that I envision it in my head right there's some very specific things i wanted to do and it's just going to take time it's going to be a multiple day kind of thing but it's time for me to head out here with jesse uh did we get the nemesis thing done okay so that's ready for her yeah did the best we could all right we got uh, another shipment in of our super wonderful will flex amazing bright white we just tried this so we just started out with a gallon but now we know we like it so we're in Got a gallon of our curable reducer. This stuff's really important, especially if you're gonna do a lot of wet on wet printing. Build up. Uh, and then this is the stuff I've been wanting. This is for, uh, this will pretty much last me a lifetime, but this is thickener, which helps thicken up inks for doing high density screen printing. Focus. Now, as you all may or may not be aware, really putting a lot of focus into uh, bringing in different print techniques, foils, puffs, high densities, all the different glitters, the reflectives. That's more or less what we want to focus on. That's the kind of stuff that we want to focus on or that I want to focus on. Be more specialty type printers. And uh, as soon as I can get the fucking Trilock thing in here, we're going to lower our quantities too. But we're going to up our prices. Yeah. I'm going to get in here and help Jesse. Printed it out, it's over there. Oh, you put it over. Yeah. Wait, another print out of what mix? The one that was wrong for the hundredth time? Yeah, yeah, the one. We ran out of uh, Cool Gray 11, so we gotta mix some more up. Wow, the new Wilflex cloud based mixing system is so much better. I had the. Yeah, it <laughs> sucks, dude. I had it bad too. I had to buy the kind of rigid insoles to have. 3.28 p.m. Jesse just, uh, just took his break. Ate lunch. What'd you have for lunch, bro? Same thing as yesterday. <laughs> Dude, I went to, um, uh, fucking Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's. I saw your sandwich. I'm, uh, yep. I need one. <laughs> uh, he finished up his lunch. I was in there screwing around with the UI. Now we're going to get back to production. So entertaining. We 
got one, two, three, four boxes left. We're making good progress on the backs. We still got, I mean, we still got to print the fronts, but we're gonna work tomorrow. Hopefully, we knock those out tomorrow. If not, we'll finish them up on Sunday. But we're gonna be okay. And do we have to deal with this humongous thing? But the orders just keep coming through, man. I'm jacking the prices up more, and more and more. I just keep raising the prices. It's the only way I can think to stop the flow of work, man. Most printers, <laughs> most printers like wish they could just fucking keep raising their prices. My battery just died. Got a fresh one in there. Um, is there anything else I need to address or talk about at the moment? Mm, nothing that I could think of. I'll tell you what, guys. Uh, I have a, a list of different video topics that I want to cover. We're so busy right now, I'm having a difficult time making dedicated videos like tutorials and shit like that. But, if you have a specific topic that would be pretty simple to do or to shoot, put in the comments, uh, and I'll just start writing those videos down so that I have like a, a queue of different video topics to cover over time. It would be really helpful. Let me know what you want me to shoot in the comments. Uh, I'm gonna get back out here and do this thing. Jesse's looking at me longingly like, hey dude, where'd you go? <laughs> All right, friend fam, it's 522. I have to cut off the press real quick to run payroll. Uh, Cause my payroll does this thing where if I don't run it by like 6 p.m. it advances the date. It's weird. So I'm, I'm gonna come over here to the computer and uh, cut Jesse's and my paychecks real quick. Motherfucker. Yeah, I ran it too late. Apparently I have to do it before three or four. If I don't, can't check cash the checks today, you have to wait till like, you have to wait till Monday. So that's fucking bullshit, man. I was not very helpful today. I did not put much time in on the press, but Jesse's gonna keep working. It's 5.32 p.m., so I'm office bound. But again, I'm just doing my time management thing. Like I was talking about yesterday. And like I'm talking about again today. What the fuck is going on? Talking about the same shit two days in a row? Who would do such a thing? What kind of low level entertainer would talk about, would do the same vlog two days in a row? Yeah, I can't remember if I mentioned earlier, but we had the, the one client that, uh, there were some major changes that needed to made, be made to their print and I tried calling and they weren't picking up so we made an executive decision and they just picked up and it was fine. They were cool with it. We made the right decision. I came in here to start editing videos and then I got distracted with uh, my QuickBooks online thing and the bookkeeper and uh, it just all turns into one gigantic distraction. Of all the things in business ownership and just my life in general, it seems like, maybe this doesn't apply to everybody, but to me, it seems like my life is a constant series of just trying to manage my distractions. Since I come in here, this is a prime example, I come in here to start editing my videos, right? That's what I'm gonna do. But then I get a message from the accountant, so it instantly pulls me away from the thing I was gonna do. Now I could ignore it and keep doing what I was planning on doing, but then that will never get taken care of, right? And it just seems like it's always that piece, and then while I'm in the middle of dealing with the accountant, then another piece comes, another distract. So I'm just constantly getting pulled. Um, and I feel like business ownership it's fun, like it doesn't really stress me out. I, sometimes I get like, fuck, I can't get nothing done. But at the end of the day, it's fun. But I do feel like that's what business ownership is, especially small business entrepreneurial type of stuff. It's juggling distractions and, and prioritizing the distractions based on level of importance. That's my business thought of the day. Enjoy. Pretty much useless, but. Yeah. What's up, Ted?
It's uh, 6.44 in the p.m. In May, but I haven't decided yet. Go grab a little red wine and allow myself two glasses. But I haven't decided yet. Either way, thanks so much for watching, Print Fam. We had a crazy week. Hopefully, you guys had a good week as well. If you have any questions, concerns, or, or just generally nice comments, leave them below. And uh, that's going to put a wrap on Friday. Take care of yourselves, Print Fam. Yep. Peace out. <laughs>